Now, with 10,000 baby boomers retiring every day, we're losing big parts of our workforce. We have this generation that they coined the word workaholic, okay? So I talk to some of my clients and they say, boy, one boomer leaves and you have to replace them with two, two, three, five, six people to get that same amount of commitment and effort and time work that you don't necessarily have today with some of the other generations that have that focus on work-life balance, work-life integration, spending time on things outside of work. But when it comes to people that are nearing retirement, we still want to be able to make them feel relevant. I remember a couple of years ago when my husband started reporting to two people who were younger than him. It was devastating. He felt almost irrelevant for a while. And so it's looking at those employees that have so much time and history with your organization and figuring out how can I use that for my newer employees coming in. Can you set up a mentoring relationship? Can you set up a, a, an apprenticeship? Something that you're getting those two generations to work more closely with each other so that you're taking advantage of the knowledge, the wisdom, the skill, the history of your organization, the experience that that bo baby boomer or traditionalist or older Gen X people <laughs> are bringing with them. And then when they're starting to leave the workforce, they still wanna feel that they matter. And sometimes I'll hear from some of the more tenured employees, we'll call them, well, why should I make friends with those new kids? You know, they're just gonna leave in six months anyway. And the question to you would be, what if you spent the time to have that relationship? What if you mentored that person? You were a source for them to go to when they had questions. Maybe that's the relationship that keeps that newer employee with your company versus leaving at the first sign. We want to value all of our employees. You have your tenured employees that have been there, they get used to doing business in a particular way, and then you have people with these bright-eyed way of looking at the world that's completely different from what your other employees do. You have this side over here saying, well, we've always done business like that. And this, these people coming in that they may not have the experience you're looking for, but they're seeing the world differently. So when you can have both of those people come together, the history, the management, the leadership, the expertise, along with the, the, the technology, the new way of looking at things, and we can join those two forces, everybody will feel relevant, everyone will feel connected, and employee engagement will increase.